What's happening, everybody? It's a Thursday afternoon. And what I have going on here is my tribute to Jerry Springer, who, if you have not heard, passed away earlier today at the age of 79 from the big evil C, cancer. Apparently, he was diagnosed with that a couple months back. And apparently, according to a couple sources that I read, the cancer just got worse at the beginning of this week. He died peacefully in his home in the Chicago area. Now, we remember Springer from, of course, the Jerry Springer show, his talk show, which ran for number 27 years. At one point, you know, uh, one of the local TV stations back in Michigan, they decided to start running his show at four in the afternoon. And many people were complaining about that because of the controversial topics, angles, and most of all, the fist fights between guests occurring on that show there. So they decided to... Uh, Moved it back to the um, earlier time set while everybody, uh, all the other kids were at work or that school there to save face, basically. Because, you know, um, Springer, the range of topics he had on his program was way out there. Who cannot forget the Help My Family Is Trailer Trash segments that would appear on that program for a short while prompting the t-shirt to the same uh, slogan and the various footages of trailer houses being destroyed by bulldozers left and right. Other topics ranging from, you know, incest stories to a strippers turning out to be male instead of female cheating lovers, cheating spouses, you name it. Hardly anything was off limits on that program there. Now Springer, believe it or not, started his career out as a politician. He ran for U.S. Congress in 1970. Unfortunately, he did not win any of the seats there. He did win a seat in the Cincinnati City Council the following year. And in 1977, he was elected the mayor of Cincinnati, serving one term. Now, after the Jerry Springer show ended in 2018, he had a courtroom, courtroom drama show called Judge Jerry, which lasted three seasons. He was also featured in The Mask Singer. And he also hosted a folk music program on the radio there for a brief time there. And apparently the cancer got so bad, he finally decided, I cannot work no more. I got to take care of this because it's hurting like hell. Now, many of the talk shows out there that would get crazy and wild like it did soon afterwards were basically influenced by Jerry Springer. Now, keep in mind, when Springer started out in 1991, it was originally a political issue program where they would talk about political uh, situations left and right. And eventually started morphing into the... Uh, program that we now know it as. The one topic they had was uh, rock and roll groupies, all the rock stars and the groupies who adore them. In fact, Peter Steele from Typo Negative was a guest on that particular episode. I remember seeing it back in 1993. Now, one of the Greatest things to come out of the Jerry Springer show would, of course, be Steve Wilkos. Wilkos, a former Chicago police officer, 
was director of security for the Jerry Springer program for a good number of years. So they decided, oh, hey, let's give him a talk show of his own. Springer, of course, was the executive producer. I remember seeing the clip of the two uh, getting together and having a reunion there. I know uh, Wilkos will be paying his tribute on social media, no doubt about that. And all the other uh, talk show hosts out there that followed in his path, um, they'll be they'll be paying homage to him just as well there. And also, let's not forget the famous or infamous chant of Jerry, 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 that would occur every time a fight breaks out on the stage. In fact, there were a couple of videos I remember seeing of fights breaking out in bars and grills and in nightclubs and everybody be shouting those words, Jerry, Jerry. So once again, rest in peace to a talk show icon, Jerry Springer. We will all miss you. Thank you for the endless amounts of entertainment you provided us. And um, I should also throw this in there while I'm on the subject. Many people like myself often called it, you know, a better version of WWE. <laughs> in fact, at one point, I even called it the Jerry Springer Wrestling Federation. So once again, rest in peace to Jerry Springer. You will be forever missed. Thank you for all the great angles, topics, and controversy you provided throughout the years. You will be missed dearly. I'm Dr. Earl. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys later on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern for our wrestling show. Me, Arknoli Strokebean, and YR will be live discussing wrestling's best and worst finishers. All right? We'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.